welcome to today's episode once again first of all i want to say a very big thank you for always liking the, um, our videos subscribing and sharing to your um, platform god bless you in today's video we are going to be looking at interrogative sentence there are some interrogative words in Igbo. the five interrogative words we have in Igbo are onye ole ebe gini kedu and ole so we are going to be using this um sentence um question word to make a sentence because some people keep asking how do we make sentence with question word what is this and that that's what we are going to be looking at this in this video today first let's go we are going to use onye onye regime onye regime the onye there is the whole question onye regime who ate my yam do you know who i am when you ask somebody, do you know who I am? The only question. Now go back to Guinea. Guinea Buche, what is your thought concerning this topic? What is your thought concerning this topic? Guinea Buche, Guinea, what? Guinea is the word question there. Guinea Buche, Guinea, Okwa. Aha, Amari Chama, Adam, Bogini. Aha, Amari Chama, Adam, Bogini. What is the name of that beautiful girl? What is the name of that beautiful girl? Omeregini Eji, Boboya Nobe. What was his offense for him to be crucified on the cross? Omeregini Eji, Boboya Nobe. Omeregini Eji, Boboya Nobe. What was his offense for him to be crucified on the cross? Because I get it by Abu. Ole. Ole. How? Ole Uzesia. Aba Ogaranya. Ele ozo esi aba ogara. What's the means of becoming rich? How? How can one become rich? Ele ozo esi aba geni ogara. Ogara is talking about wealthy. Ole ozo esi aba ogara. Ole ebe ibi. Where do you live? In this context, you can see that ole contradict. You cannot say that ole is where, when, or what, but it's a question word. Remember, every language is equal, no language is greater. So it can be like, let's have it as we have it in English. How is that and that? What is providing a solution to the owners? That is correct. Ole ebe ibi. Ole ebe ibi. Where do you live? I see in this context now, ole ebe ibi is talking about where, the where question. Ole ebe ibi. Where do you live? Because that will, another one we'll be looking at is ole Ole, see the difference now. Ole, the first one is stretched. Ole, this one is ole. Now, ole is how. Now, this ole is how. Ego leka onye regi. Ego leka onye regi. How much did he give you? Ego leka onye regi. How much did he give you? Because I brought Madole Biare Baho. How many people came to that place? Madole Biare Baho. How many people? Came to that place because I and I another one we'll be looking at is a bay. A bay, this a bay have to do with where yeah, precisely a bay. A mecca jerry bay, a mecca jerry bay, a mecca jerry a bay is a question word. I remember in the question word, the first the subject have to take with low tone, not high tone. If it's high tone, it's not a declarative sentence, but when it's low tone, it's an interrogative word sentence. If you observe all our uh, the question sentence we'll be making it the subject always have with always begins with a low tone because it's only the low tone that begins with this that shows that is the question that you're asking emeka jerry ebe where did emeka go to or where went emeka emeka jerry ebe you can inter-switch the english where went emeka where did emeka go to emeka jerry ebe because of ebeka enaga ebeka enaga where are you going to? Where are you going to? Ebeka ena aga. The last but not the very least is kedu. Kedu. Kedu in this place can be what or how. Keduka omere. Keduka omere. How is he? Keduka omere. How is he? Because another sentence for that kedu is kedu nke kedu nke Kedu unke hasunaya. Which one did they belong to? Which one did they belong to? You see now, this kedu, the first sentence we make there is talking about 
words, but the second one is using the words, the which question. Kedu nke hasuna aya. Thank you very much for listening to these videos. I hope you have picked one or two, th two things from Igbo language on interrogative sentence. These are the question words that we use in making a sentence in Igbo. Don't forget, every question word in Igbo begins the low to mark. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, share on your social media platform. And your questions and observations are highly welcome. Thank you very much. See you next time.